and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I have some diamonds to do kits. Um, so this is a kit that my sister-in-law was doing. Um, however, it has got, the canvas has got damaged, I think she said, um, while moving. She has moved a couple of times while trying to complete it. Um, so she has given me the diamonds um, back and the storage because I did lend her the storage um, but I need to put the diamonds away so I think this one is a little bit all over the place we do have some extra packets here I'm not actually sure if it's one kit or two uh, but the diamonds are now mine which means they need to go in my storage they are square diamonds so it will involve my heaven and earth design but I'm going to start with the 310 of which I have them in this bag now I did used to have them in a grip seal bag but it got damaged so we've got some 310 there, throw that in, and we have 310 here. So it must have had quite a bit of 310 in that painting. So that's that's the easy one. I kind of call that my easy one now. Um, so I can take that off there, and then she has a pot here that she was using for, I'm guessing for her trash drills. I'm not trying to figure out what drills, what colours those drills are. They're all mixed. So that is clusters done. And then I'll take off the 310 sticker, or I'll try to, and class that one is done. Okay, now I don't think, oh, I don't know, maybe they are in some sort of number order. So they're the three thousands. They are, they're just mixed up a little bit, but they were in DMC order by the looks of it. So let's see if we can get these back in DMC order first, I think. Let's get rid of the floating diamonds. So I think that's first. What have we got then? 500s. With, that starts with 700, that starts with 8, and then 9s, we've got 9, 931, 977, and then we've got 37s and a 30. So I might have to keep an eye, there is a little bit of, a little bit of mix up, but it's close. It's close to being in DMC order so we're going to go with it but I do need to pay attention to the bags as well so we've got 3000s let's move those out of the way and we'll deal with those in a minute six sevens fours a nine and a nine a three a four and a three Okay, first box, a heaven and earth design box, I think. Let's check if I need any of the numbers for this. So, 169, no. 300, no. 317, 318 I have. Do I have another baggie for these? I do. So, I've got 318 here which is full, which must be why there are also extra bags. Do I have some scissors handy? It's like how I kit up slash de-kitting all at the same time. But I completely forgot about these. I popped them on the shelf, which is a bad idea sometimes for me. Putting things down on the shelf means that I often forget they're there. Uh, but I did spot them the other day. I think it was when I was sorting out the diamonds for my mum's heaven and earth design. And I was like, I need to get them away. So I think there's actually a few breakdown videos coming this week from kits that I've finished. In fact, I think this bin has still got stuff in as well from me kitting up. Okay, next, 400s. 
no so these are all duplicates so at least i don't need to look at them unless i've got ones to do 415 no 646 no 762 no 779 no 814 nope 823 yes so i have 823 here i don't have any there though so we'll bob 823 in there okay then i'll keep this one out because we actually need 898 i think this was a home form one she was doing looking at the symbols and the labels i think it is so 898 as well let's get those in so there's a couple of different shades in there how we've ended up with a couple of different shades in the same kit i don't know uh, 902 no 938 no 939 is a yes I know I always need 939. So let's see if those can go in. Oh, I only lost one. Got caught on my thumb. So 939. Very nearly got all the sticker off on that one. I can't even remember if I kitted this one up for her. I know it was a few years ago. Okay, 939, 3372, no, 3371, 3787, 3799, 3865, yes. So 3865, and I do have an extra bag of these as well. So let's get that one in first. Try not to drop my bag. Three, eight, six, five. Get the label off. And then there is some here as well. So let's cut these open and throw these in. Because I think it's my mini Heaven and Earth design. I say mini, it's not a small painting at all. Um, but the mini cross stitch chart that's using 3865. Okay, so my Heaven and Earth designs are done. Next stop, I'm going to do the ones that I know the bag is already full. So my extras, extras. So for 100s, I have 152, 154. So I knew that one was in here. That's what made me think I know full well. I have some that are too full. So let's do 154. And that saves me having to look up the number in my big box because I know it's going to be full. Oh, I nearly put it back in with the rounds. So 154. And I've ripped half the label off. Let's stick that to that little bit of plastic. Uh, 161 is also in here. So we'll get rid of 161. And that's already less that need to go in my normal spare diamonds box. So 161, 200, oh there isn't any, 400 is the next one that I have the most of. 413, I have two pretty full bags here. Let's see if I can fit, oh I don't know if I'm going to fit the 413 in there because I have some there and some there. So I think I might need to do myself another baggie. Where's the pen? So four, one, three. I'm using the square diamonds because it's of the squares that I'm putting away. Let's tip, tip these in. 
We're getting all the middle pots at the moment. Not making as much mess as I could. So some of these, when I did create this box, I knew the bags were full. So I made some extra bags ready for it. Obviously, I haven't done it on 413. Must have de-kitted a few with 413 in since. So there we go. Another bag of 413. 453 is also in here. Let's get that label off. Try not to confuse myself, you see, by getting rid of as many labels as I can as I go along. Because I look more at the labels it's more than I do whether there's diamonds in the pot. Like my brain does take it in, but I'm looking at the labels. So four, five, three, a few different shades of those. And then also four, nine, eight which is another one that I have extras of. 498, this has been in a paint gem kit because there's a little piece of dryer sheet in there. So let's take the label off that one and then do the bags. This must be rather popular colours when it comes to diamond painting. Especially if we've got quite a few that have had extra bags as well. So that's the 400s, 500s, no, 600s, no, 700s. 761, no, 783, nope, nope, 799. So all these boxes for anybody that's not followed my de-kittings before, in my spare storage, which I will be getting out in a minute, I allow myself one bag full of extra diamonds and then I class it as that is enough spare diamonds for whatever may crop up. For whatever paintings may not have diamonds in them, one bag is enough. I do have a couple of projects on the go. Uh, so I do have a heaven and earth design that I am doing using my spare diamonds and that's what the first box was. That was all the diamonds that I need for my heaven and earth design. And I do have another blank canvas actually that will use my spare diamonds. But I'm not going to worry about that until I'm ready to do it because there is only so many diamonds I can try and keep control of. And that is a project for another day. So that bag of 817 is full enough, so I've just made another one. Okay, let's... Oh, I've actually not got any more 800s in here. So 900s, 931 is down here. So we'll add those and take off the sticker. 945 is also here and I do have extras. I think I might just be best doing another bag for those as well. If I only had a small amount of diamonds, like if the painting had got finished and completed, then I probably would have been able to fit the leftover diamonds in there. Because this is a painting that didn't get completed, I actually have more diamonds than is normal. So I think I'm best just starting another bag than trying to squeeze them all in because I have all that was in that pot, which is a good few hundred, plus another 400 here in baggies. It's just not worth the mess in. And I haven't quite cut through that one. Let's try that. 
get them in the bag. And I've got too many bits of plastic floating about now. So let's keep that for putting the stickers on, making the stickers stick. Let's get rid of all those bits. So that's more 945. That's going to be for stickers. 959, 996. Okay, 3000. Oh no, 32. None of them start 32. That's that row done. And then for the three sevens, three seven four seven, I have a bag four. Don't have any extras, so let's see if these all fit. Because this is a pretty full pot. And that fits in the bag just. We've got a couple of different shades in there as well. Uh, okay, three seven. Five, six, no more of those. Probably a good thing. Three, seven, five, six. Uh, three, seven, six, six. Nope. And then for the three, eight hundreds. Three, eight, one, two. Three, eight, six, zero. No. 3861. No. Okay. So my extras, extras are done. So now, for people that haven't been diamond painting for what feels like an eternity, this is my normal spare storage. For squares, I do have three boxes, which is why there is quite a bit of breathing room in them. Wasn't quite enough to fit into two. Oh, I need to put those stickers away. Wasn't quite enough to fit into two. Um, or oh sorry, it was too much to fit into two. Uh, but I do have quite a bit of space when it comes to three. So let's start now at the first pot. So we've got one, six, eight. And this is where, you know, a flip through. There may end up being some because of the amount of diamonds that I do have to create a bag for the overflow box. But at least I've checked any that I know a full and we'll see see how we go so 168 is done let's take that one off 168 and 208 so it's pretty full but it's not quite there yet I am keeping half an eye on the extra bags of diamonds as well. Try and get them both together. And we have another empty pot. I feel like it's progress when we start emptying pots. And there's some of them that have only got one colour left in them. Pop that to the back. Three, four, zero. 340. Plenty of room in that one. Let's add some purples. Tip them in. So we've got 340. Try and peel it off slower, see if that helps. 350. Oh, that's one that I actually have not got in here yet. So I need to keep that aside to update my logbook. Maybe it's one that I've got in my Heaven and Earth designs. Who knows? So let's put that up there. That's my little update my logbook pile at the top. And say it may well be one that I have in my Heaven and Earth design, but I don't, like I'm not saving the diamonds separately. I should have enough, uh, but I did give my mum quite a few. So if I run out while doing my Heaven and Earth design, I'll just look in my spares for them. Well, in fact, I'll look in my logbook to tell me if I have some, and then I'll just get them out of my spares. 
Okay, 370. That's another bag that is currently empty. And I need to pay attention because I actually missed one last time. Uh, a couple of people very kindly pointed it out for me that I had missed updating my logbook with one. I have written down the number. Um, I just can't remember if it was on the rounds or the squares video. I might have to check. It was a 3000, so I'll check when I get to it. Um, oh, no, I won't. Yeah, I will. I'll see if I can figure it out without going and getting uh, the piece of paper that I wrote it down on. <laughs> See, sometimes talking and doing at the same time does not work. Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. Okay, 500. We already have that one. And this is why sometimes I actually do need to say aloud what diamonds I'm doing rather than talk about something else at the same time. I have a feeling it was when I was kitting, de kitting flamingos because I was too busy chatting um, about my excitement for kitting up my next large painting and I was too busy talking about that to talk about the diamonds I was de-kitting at the time. So I have a feeling it was that one. So I'll check my numbers in a bit. So 554 five, and then we have 645. Now I know this frightens some people um, me combining diamonds even if the shades are off but for the purposes I use these diamonds are either um, if a kit has run out right near the end and you know you could be missing 10 or 20 diamonds say I can go to my spares and use them to finish it in that case if there is some you know multiple different shades of a colour, then I will just tip um, tip them out into a tray and pick the closest match to the one that I'm doing and use that. Um, if it's for my heaven and earth design, I have tried to pick patterns where it doesn't matter as much if they are not quite the same shade. Now, for this 666, this is borderline if I am going to fit them all in the bag. But I'm going to try. Because I have already pulled out my extras box. I don't really want to pull it out again if I can help it. So I'm going to try and get them all to fit. Though I think I'm going to have to move them to or create a bag for my extras box for those. Very, very soon right so that's all the 600s done so that's my first box of squares second box of squares i think the next breakdown video that i'm doing is a round in fact the next breakdown doing I'm, I'm doing i think is my 30 by 40 round which doesn't have DMC numbers. So it's probably going to be an extremely quick de-kitting. But that'll make a nice change, will it not? So 720. So 720 is getting rather full as well. 700 shouldn't take too long. In this box, I actually have 700s, 800s, 900s. With a little bit of room, a little bit of room to grow as the bags get fuller, a bit like some of them. You can see there's a bigger gap because I have more diamonds. And that's why I'm hoping that I won't go over three boxes. Um, and that's why I'm limiting myself as well to one bag in each. So that's 745. Now 758, I have extras. How full is 758? Oh, that should take it. A few different shades again already. Though this one is the same shade as the last one I put in. It's some older ones that are a lot darker. 
but I never know if I run out what shading that that kit is going to have. So I might need the lighter ones, I might need the darker ones. So if I don't keep them, and in turn don't keep them in the same bag, what am I going to do if I, if I only kept the lighter ones and then found out it was the darker shade that that kit used? I'd then have to go hunting through all my spares to find the closest match, and I can't be doing with that. Okay, 700s, done. So 800s, we only have the one. 801. So that one's done. 800s in the bag, if I can get the sticker off. 800s, done. 900s. Okay, top first one. First one off the board, 900. Oh. I hit the top back and then managed to scatter them everywhere. They didn't go on the floor because my top was right at the edge of my desk, which you actually can't quite see on camera. So I'm just dampening my finger and then sliding it across to pick them up. Because I find that is the easiest way if I've not done this over a tray. Though to be fair, I think even if I'd have done this over a tray, I would have missed the tray because the tray would have been up here. So nearly there. Which one's that? 900. I was double checking that wasn't my extras. So 900. Let's take the sticker off. Try not to get myself in too much of a muddle. 920. 920. Not that full, but I think it's going to get a bit fuller. I have full pot. Only had one escapee. And then I also have a packet. So let's keep oh actually let's keep that packet for sticking the stickers on. It's bigger. 920 is done. 926. Another one, a couple of different shades in this one as well. Just throw in another shade. So we see we've got one slightly darker nearer the bottom. But I never know which one the kit is going to have. So let's pop 926 in. And half of it's done. Woohoo! And these stickers are coming off quite nicely. So 961. 961. Pinks. Oh, this is a darker pink. At least I think it is. I'll try and get hold of it and not make a mess. Uh, only ever so slightly darker. Again, there's not much in it. It is purely dye lots. Done. Scoot them all down. Fish out the rogue diamonds. Don't need rogue diamonds because this storage will be going back when I'm done. Uh, 973. Scooting right near the end of the 900s. Vibrant yellow. So 973. And let's take that one off. And then 977. Oh, how many different shades of that? That looks like sand. If I was trying to do a painting that looked like sand, this would be a good colour to tip out and just use 
random diamonds to make it up. Looks like a very dark sand colour. Okay, that is the 900's done. So second box of spares is finished. If I can get just this last little bit of sticker off. And now it's stuck to my finger. I'm trying to get it to go in the bin. There we go. So last, but by no means least, my box of 3000's. My rounds are quicker because I only have two boxes for rounds. But let's let's put the pen away. I still need that. Okay, 3078 is my earliest colour because these are a little bit out of order. So 3078. Then we jump to the three sevens and three seven two one. It's like these were done a little bit backwards. Three seven two one is pretty full. It's got two different shades in there, and I think these match the redder shade rather than the brown shade. But we'll bob them in for options. Three seven twenty one. And we'll pop this in. Add in the extras. I'd be so glad not to have these extra packets floating around on my shelf anymore. It is nice to have that little tidy up. Okay, 37.50. Oh, and we do have another one actually, 37.46. Oh, and we've got 37.52. <laughs> so there's still a few more three sevens to do. A little bit out of order, but we'll make it work. So let's pop in 37.50 back, and then let's go back to 37.46. And bob those in. So 3746 and then ugh. keep that one out for in a minute because that is the beginning of the three eights. So 3746 and then we want to go to 3752 which again is pretty full but let's see if we can get that in. I'm all for preventing having to redo, though I think that might be hitting my limit, we'll see. Okay, so three sevens are done. Let's get the labels off. I keep picking up the scissors with my, with my watch strap. <laughs> keep sticking to the scissors. Okay, three, eight, two, two only have a few of those so let's add a few more to the pot that color pretty much matches it's amazing how some colors considering how many different kits I might have de-kitted some colors there doesn't seem to be any dye lot problems and others can have multitudes okay three eight two three Nearly there. Just got to sort out my glitch in my logbook as well, though. So don't go too far. I've got to fix past mistakes. Uh, okay, 3835. Purple. I had, as soon as I pulled that bag out, then I thought, no, it's orange. I was looking at the wrong one. So 3835. And I flatten it down as much as I can before I close up the grip seal because who needs air taking up space in your spare storage? And then last to put away is 3853, which is actually one I didn't have. 
So let's see if I can get this label off. No, oh, it's already half peeled off on that side and it's already half peeled up on this side. So it's not going to stick to the desk really. Most of the sticky is still on the pot. But let's at least pop it there. That's the only one that's really left a load of residue. So let me just rub it off with my finger, which you can do if you haven't got any goo gone or something. I often find that rubbing it with your finger and the friction of that will get most sticky goo off. It really depends on how strong your glue is. And then let's also pop these in. And let's get those away. Did I cut them open enough? I did. And then let's put all of that away as well. <sighs> Love a good clean up. Love a good clean up. Okay, scissors done. Three thousands box done. Storage box done. I have to fight with that to get that on the shelf. Well, I don't have to fight. I just might have to rearrange a little bit. So I'll put that away in a minute. Log book. My spares. Let's have a look now. So we're on squares. Let's put these ones in before I try and fix anything. So 350 is a heaven and earth design colour. So let me find my rubber. So 350 is a heaven and earth design. I've put a little H there in pencil. But I can get rid of that now and pop a tick because it is now in my spares box as well. So that's one done. 370. I never had any in squares or rounds. I now have some in squares. That's nice to have. And then 3853. That was also in my Heaven and Earth design. So I do have a few. They're in my pots that are kitted up. But I now have some in my spares. Oh, and the one little bit of sticker that did stay stuck to my desk. Right, I'm sure it was 377 something. But I have ticked 3771. Or was it a different number? So to try and fix this, I know it was a 3-7 number. So I'm going to have a quick look in my rounds. So this is my rounds box. Um, and I thought it was a 3 double seven number, but let's have a look. So 5-3, let's have a look at the ones that I don't have marked. Or was it 3 7 double three? Three seven double three. Aha, it was. I knew it had lots of threes and sevens in it. Three seven double three. I actually do have diamonds and I don't have it ticked. So while I'm here, I'm going to check the other three sevens. I'm not going to check them all though. So three seven one six. All I'm checking is the ones that say I don't have any, if that's true. 3722, that's true. 3773, because that's got lots of threes and sevens and threes in it. 3773, because it may be that I've missed two. And one could be ages ago. No, I don't have that one. 3774, no. 3777, no. Okay. That's it, that was it. Three, seven, double, three. It has now been updated. See, don't chat about another painting that you're getting excited for while de-kitting the old one. Because you get yourself in a fuddle. But you guys save me from so many things. <laughs> one of these days, I will potentially have to go through my spares and double check because of things like that. Um, but it's been this year that I have gone through and added them all and I've been doing pretty well I say you guys have just shouted at me for the first one so hopefully I won't have to check too much but 
my logbook is now correct error corrected uh, we have all the diamonds that were given to me by my sister-in-law have all been de-kitted and put away which means this can go back into my storage and my shelf cannot have diamonds floating about on it now which makes me very very happy so yeah join me for my next de-kitting which actually I think will be tomorrow um, I do need to tidy up a few of the bits in the craft room and I'm trying to make sure that I de-kit before I kit up so stay tuned for a de-kit should be a quick one of my 30 by 40 um, which means at some point this week I'll be able to kit up another 30 by 40 and I love a good preparation video so to get all the breakdowns done beforehand and have a nice clean slate makes me happy so yeah another job done thank you all so much for joining me for this one and I will of course speak to you all again soon <laughs>